Today, we're talking about the supplies that you need to get started with your very first chicken nursery. I'm Danielle and this is Chris and we are the Split Arrow Farm and welcome to our channel. Today we're talking about all of the supplies that we got for our first chicken nursery or as they call it in the farm world, a chicken brooder, which is basically where you're getting your chicks ready before you can release them into a free range or into a bigger space. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Miss Danielle, what are you doing? <laughs> You caught me. I'm ordering some chicks. We're gonna get some California whites and Cornish cross. So we'll have some egg layers as well as some meat, meat producers. And we went to Tractor Supply Store today. We got a bunch what of stuff. Got? So we can start raising them. Oh, all right, so we're gonna keep the uh, chicks in here while they're getting ready. Okay, now we're going to actually assemble this nursery. We are doing it in our living room and we're not gonna be keeping the chickens here. We're actually gonna keep them in our basement. But for the video, we wanted to kind of show you in a nice lit area. So first off is the... Bedding. There's a variety of different bedding choices and uh, I'll let Danielle go into what you can choose from. Yes, yeah, so there's a bunch of different choices. We're gonna be using pine shavings and what's really nice about these pine shavings is they're actually a pretty nice thickness here. So I'll show you guys here. They are nice and big pieces, which is gonna make sure that it's not too dusty, but this also provides a really safe bedding for the chicks. Another question that a lot of people have is cedar versus pine. And although cedar does smell really great, it does have a lot of oils in it, which are toxic for the chicks. So you're not gonna to want to use that. Now, in regards to other bedding, I've seen newspaper, you can use sand, which is great because it doesn't hold in too much moisture, but we're gonna be using pine. And what we like about this is every week we can just put on a new layer of pine and then at the end, we can just take this and pour it into our compost and have some really nice reusable soil compost for our garden. Next up, when assembling your nursery or brooder, which is also what you can call this, is you're going to need some lighting. Yeah, so what's really important is you wanna provide heat for your little chicks so that they have that same sensation of being under their mother's bellies. Because they're taken away, which a lot of modern day chickens are actually bred out of brooding their chicks or caring for them. So that's now left up to you as their parents. So you're gonna definitely want to create a warm space so that they do not sadly die. Now another item beyond just the heat is you do want 24 hours of light and what you want this for is to keep the chicks that they're eating and drinking and making sure that they're actively active in their young age. So if they don't have light then it actually won't stimulate their brains to start doing some of those actions. So you're definitely going to want to make sure to have some light in there. Now, a fun trick that we also learned is when you are taking apart your brooder, maybe for the end of season, you're gonna wanna make sure to keep this box when you're setting it up so you can reuse it and kind of store your light bulb in there so you don't break any because they are very easily breakable. So when you actually get the chickens, there is going to be different stages. So when you first get your chicks, you're gonna to wanna to keep the, low, the light pretty low so it'll be a lot warmer on them. You are gonna make sure that you aren't burning any of the pine because it is flammable, so watch out for that. And then as they get older, you can start to move it up and up. And this will kind of be as you're weaning them off of their nursery or brooder and getting them ready to go into their free range area. So you're going to want to basically make sure that you're keeping the environment for your chicks at about 95 to 100 degrees. So underneath this should be that hot and then you're going to slowly make it a little cooler and cooler for them every week um, until they're ready to be free ranged. Yeah, so we're going to have that as one heat source, but there is going to be a lot of chicks in here. So we have a secondary heating source and this is a chicken coop heater and brooder. So what's really great is it has these nifty stands. So you can actually stand vertical or go horizontal. And if it's horizontal, the chicks can go underneath it and actually feel like they're under their mom's brooder. 
and the legs are really easy to move up and down. Chris actually did an unboxing video, so I'll make sure to link that over here. And he goes over kind of like the pros and cons of this heater and brooder that we got. We really like it, and it does provide a really good heat source. So you'll definitely want to check that out if you're interested in this version, and we will provide a link down below. But this, uh, you'll just put in here and then it's secondary heat source for them. Then we have our feeder. So this is great because it locks in. You can put about a gallon of food in here and the chicks can actually just like make sure that they get it out of here uh, without spilling it all over the bedding. And then lastly, water, really important to make sure that your chicks are hydrating. And when you put this in, you'll want to put in little rocks or stones at the bottom so they do not drown at the beginning. So this is our basic setup. I'll do a little close up of it now so you can kind of see everything that it looks like. But this is what we're gonna be bringing our chicks into in two days. So if you liked this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you can check out our new chicks that are coming soon as well as a lot of the other stuff that's happening on our journey of starting a homestead. Bye.